Hi lovelies and welcome to Coffee with Nadia. So today I'm a little bit nervous about this video. I come home and there's a package in front of my door and I'm like, it's in a little bag. I'm like, I'm not supposed to get anything in the bag. I'm supposed to get a box. So maybe my husband ordered something. Little did I know, I picked it up and it's what I ordered. I ordered a Nagonda Garden Party Hermes inspired handbag and I paid $139 for this. I'm sorry, for $139, they could have put this in a box because I have, I can't even imagine what this bag went through during the shipping process to come to my house. So I'm a little nervous because I was really, really excited about this handbag. So if you wanna see what it looks like inside, stay tuned. Alright you guys, time to open the bag. I ripped it open, just to kind of, and so here it goes. It came like this, so you see, see their NFL logo right here, and you can already see, I didn't even open it, do you see this? I did not even open it, look at this. I was right, I think. I'm not one of these complaining people or whatever, but if it's something that I see that it's not gonna be fixed by just, you know. Look at this, you guys. So this is the cardboard that was supposed to be keeping this bag straight. It's basically like, uh, this is the thinnest cardboard I've seen. Look how thin this is. Now this is what was supposed to be keeping it straight. Okay, and here is the second one. There's how straight that one is. Okay. And here is the handbag. Okay, maybe I was a little bit overreacting. Let me see. No, I was not. So here it is. Look at this. You tell me, you guys, would you keep this? Look at this. It is genuine leather. It's not, you know... I'm gonna, they could have at least stuffed it more, you know? Oh, this bag is so unbelievably beautiful. This was the stuffing in it. That's it. Just that bottom part, just that bottom part, and that's all it was. If they would have given it more stuffing right here, this wouldn't have happened. But I don't think it's my job now to, to straighten it out. Oh, this bag is a beautiful, you guys, look. I think it's absolutely stunning. It's like a yellow, like, a, it's not a mustard, but it's this, like, dark yellow, and it's, oh, my goodness, do I love this bag. If I go to TJ Maxx right now and buy a $140 bag, it would be in better condition than this. Agree? I mean, right? All right, you guys, I'm back with my Sarah wallet because the most important thing for me when I buy a handbag is for the wallet to fit in the bag and the little zipper. Everything else, I don't care. I like to have it open and ready to use. Oh, absolutely. Look at this. Fits. Up. Sorry. I can't see. There you go. Fits right in with room to spare. Closing it. And there you go. So the measurements on here are as follows. 14 and a half inches lengthwise. Then the height is 10.3, 6.5 this way, and the drop is 5.5 right here. And it is absolutely the most stunning bag. I, I, I mean, I, I love it. I absolutely, it's, for me, why I love it is because it's simple. It's clean. It's absolutely just beautiful inside. It has the secret pocket that fits my Sarah wallet. It's just, it's great for work. It's great for anything, party. I mean, and it's a color that's not only spring. You could definitely get away with it at, in fall because it's like a dark yellow, kind of. And it's, you know, bright enough for spring and cool enough for, you know, not as so bright for fall so this is just a year-round purse I mean it's so 
gorgeous, so beautiful. But I have to say, I'm definitely not keeping it. There's just, there's no, absolutely no excuse. I'm so sad right now. <laughs> I can't explain. But. I'm not somebody who gives up and I'm gonna get this bag and I'm gonna find it somewhere where they're gonna ship and it's going to be in good condition and it's gonna be lovely and uh, so that's that what do you guys think am I overreacting do you think this is fixable if I am it's possible but I just don't think for the money that I paid that I should receive a bag that looks like this well, that is it for this video. What do you guys think? Am I overreacting just a little bit? Or maybe I'm actually acting quite fine for the situation. Would you return this bag or would you keep it? Let me know down below. I honestly, I've never, exper I've never had a negative experience with Amazon. This is honestly my first one. And that's why I think I'm taking it like this because I'm so shocked. I'm shocked and sad and it's some I, I was looking forward to this bag so much and it is I'm going to send it back but let me know what you think be honest honestly just you know obviously don't be rude but I'm just I'm sad and upset and um, that is it well, that that's all I have to say on that note you guys have a fantastic day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and find me on Instagram at Coffee with Nadia. Bye.